Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 32. So in this question we're going to remove some counters from the bag and we're looking for the situations where we end up with a total of 6 or a total of 10 left at the end. Let's imagine first of all that we remove a counter number 1. If we remove a counter number 1 then we're going to remove one more counter. So these counters could be 2 or could be 3. Let's imagine the second counter is a 2. This leaves us with a 2 and 3 threes, and if we add up that total we get 11, so this isn't a situation we're interested in. Let's imagine instead the second counter was a 3. This leaves us with two twos and two threes, which adds to make 10, so we do want this situation. So we got a 1 on the first pick and a 3 on the second pick, so we're interested in the probability of a 1 followed by a 3. The probability of a 1 on the first pick is just 1 out of 6, and we multiply this by the probability of a 3 on the second pick, which is 3 out of 5. If you multiply these together, you get 1 tenth. So this covers all of the possibilities when we pick a 1 first. Now let's look at what happens when you select a 2 first. If you select a 2 first, then you're going to draw 2 more counters out. So there are a few more possibilities to check. So of the next 2 counters, it could be a 1 followed by a 2, which would leave 3 threes left, which adds up to make 9, so we're not interested in that. We could also pick a 1 and a 3. This will leave you with a 2 and two threes, which makes 8, so we're not interested in that. You could also pick a 2 and a 3. That will leave you with a 1 and two threes, which makes 7, and we're not interested in that. Or finally, you could pick two threes. This leaves you with a 1, a 2, and a 3, which does make 6. So we are interested in the situation where you pick a 2, and then a 3, and then a 3 again. So the probability of a 2 followed by a 3 followed by a 3. The probability of a 2 on the first pick is 2 out of 6 since there's two twos. And then for the next pick we're going to have a 3. There are 3 of them and now 5 counters left so that's 3 out of 5. And now one of those 3's is gone and we need another 3. So there's now two threes left out of 4 counters in total so times 2 out of 4. And this gives you 1 out of 10 as well. Now that's all of the possibilities when a 1 comes out first or a 2 comes out first. So now we'll look at what happens when a 3 comes out first. Now this time we're going to draw 3 more counters. If we draw 3 more counters there are only 2 counters left. And if there are only 2 counters left there's only one possibility of getting to 6, that's if you leave a 3 and a 3. So we must remove a 1, a 2 and a 2. Since 3 and 3 make 6. So let's look at the situation where you draw a 3 first, and then a 1, then a 2, then a 2. The probability of the 3 at the start is 3 out of 6. Then for the 1 next we've only got 1 of those and 5 counters, so 1 out of 5. And then a 2, which would be there's 2 of those, so that's 2 out of 4. And then the final 2, there's only 1 left now, so it's times 1 over 3. If you times all of this together, you get 1 out of 60. Now this isn't the only possibility, because if I draw that 3 first, I could draw the 2 second rather than the 1. So let's look at the probability of a 3 followed by a 2 followed by a 1 followed by a 2. That's 3 over 6, times 2 over 5, times 1 over 4, times 1 over 3, which is also 1 over 60. And there's one more possibility, I could draw the 1 last, so I could start with 3, then draw a 2, then a 2, and then a 1. This is 3 over 6, times 2 over 5, times 1 over 4, times 1 over 3 as well, which gives you 1 over 60. So these are all of my possibilities, so I just need to add up all of these. So a tenth, add a tenth, add a sixtieth, add a sixtieth, add a sixtieth, gives you one quarter. And that's the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe, so you don't miss out on future videos.